So a video here for Jerry at US Frame. Jerry's really into cool trees and different types of trees and stuff, and so I wanted to show him this tree here. It's called a golden chain. And the way these um, blooms are, they hang down and they they look like a bunch of golden necklaces hanging down off the tree, and so it's called a golden chain. I don't know what the scientific name for it is. It's been really quiet, and of course, as soon as I start filming, there's a bunch of cars going up and down the road. So there's the golden chain. Pretty cool. Great big holly bush. And uh, this old, beat-up, snaggy-looking old catalpa tree has got a pretty cool thing going on. And that right... Right about there... Right in there, there's a little cedar tree starting up in there. Apparently a squirrel has put some little uh, acorn seed or something or a bird or something put a seed in that. There's a knot hole right there and the little cedar tree, like I said, it's right, right there, starting up. But Jerry, what I really wanted to show you, I know this is one of your favorites. I wanted to show you this flowering dogwood. This is a pink flowering dogwood. And I know you're a big fan of the dogwood, so... There you go, my friend. Enjoy your day. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to show you, too. I'm going to show you the uh, walnut tree. Where those walnuts are from. So we'll go over here. Right there. That right there is the walnut tree that produced those walnuts that uh, that I had sent you. One thing that's really interesting is this is a grafted tree. The trunk, if you could tell by the bark pattern, the trunk itself is black walnut and probably 50 years ago when the tree was maybe only about a well probably less than a foot in diameter they completely cut the entire top out of the tree and grafted all of these big all these little uh, limbs in there these are limbs off of English walnut so you can see how the bark pattern changes it's really rough and textured there and then right in there it kind of smooths out and you can see how it's, each one of those limbs are all grafted in it and the bark changes to uh, English walnut so there you go that's how most English walnuts are actually is uh, most people that actually have walnuts in production utilize a hardier black walnut trunk and then graft the English walnuts into the top of them. There you go.